And let's unpack this further with Lutendo Bobo, the SABC News reporter, coming to us live from Limpopo. Lutendo, uh, the funeral had just wrapped. Uh, many dignitaries were in town attending the funeral. Uh, from the landscape behind you, it seems like it is a community that has quieted down as they perhaps are coming to terms with the passing of one of their greatest exports, not just to the country, but to the rest of the world. What is the sense that the community is feeling right now? Yeah, of course, uh, you know, for the Mbaweni family, uh, the period of mourning will continue, perhaps for forever. But for everyone else, life now slips back uh, to normal. As you can see behind me, um, we spoke to community members. You know, Tito Mbaweni kind of straddled both worlds, the world of high living and also the world of, of grassroots. You know, his social media activity uh, always connected him uh, with uh, the people on the ground you know he was a very outspoken and uh, very controversial sometimes on social media he said or wrote whatever uh, he wrote he never cared uh, whose cow is being god he always shot you know from uh, the hip you, i remember one of his uh, posts i think it was on, on, on instagram where he was urging young people uh, to venture into uh, farming but of course that uh, brought uh, you know some vicious back with young people saying but you can't talk about farming well you know that land uh, is a is a problem but of course you know, throughout the week uh, we've spoken with a lot of people who are paying tribute uh, to this man today we had what he had you know people moving glowing and moving uh, I mean giving glowing and moving a uh, tri uh, tribute uh, uh, to this man he was known as the Duke of Mahuva's cloth that is a, a high um, a play is a place for high living for uh, people in high places but he was also a man who visited uh, villages such as uh, Bodweni, such as Sasekani. He was born in Bodweni, Bodweni, Bodweni and then he moved on uh, to grow, uh, and he grew up in Sasekani, uh, where he moved uh, from Bodweni as a young man. Of course, he still continued to touch lives, both uh, in the, on the grassroots and also uh, up there. You, you, we know, as we said earlier, his level of intelligence, uh, his prudence, you know, uh, it, it was what connected him uh, to people, especially uh, intellectuals, but also his social media activities, where the, uh, what, what he posted on Facebook, his, uh, you know, a, a, a dressing style, you know, he, he always um, had uh, provoke uh, fun uh, on Facebook. Everybody uh, from um, young people and, you know, from uh, poor people, they paid tribute uh, to this man who is globally acclaimed, Oliver. Lieutenant, you know, the misty hills of Mahuba's Kluf has become a tourist attraction, like you say, because of Tito uh, Twitter and social media uh, prophesying of it and, and how he uh, sold it to the rest of the country as a pit stop on your way to Zanin or the greater Limpopo area. Uh, what, what is it that those uh, uh, neighbors of, 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 of Zanin, Mahuba's Kluf, Potoeni are going to remember most about him? We heard what the politicians have said, but what has his neighbors said about him. Yeah. Mahoba's club, picture it's topography. If you, if you, you want to see one of the uh, the most beautiful places are uh, in Limpopo. You, you, it's it's Mahova's Clough farms and you know winding road down the mountain and of course um, the areas after that the villages Sasekani, Kuankoa, uh, you know uh, Bodweni. Uh, these are places that were never known, as we were saying always that uh, Tito Mbaweni was a shining light. He was shining light on these uh, villages that were that are scattered, that are marred by uh, lack of service uh, delivery, no water, uh, no housing, no roads. And people will always remember him, as I always said, people will always remember him for uh, the fact that he had he, uh, uh, the interest of these uh, areas at heart. He wanted to see these areas uh, develop. You know, when you speak to people on the ground, they'll be telling you about how he always um, uh, want, um, they always wanted this uh, place uh, to be developed, to be become better, and of course, uh, for people of these villages um, uh, to have a better life, Oliver. Lutendo, thank you so much for that. Uh, really do appreciate it as we wrap up the funeral of Titombo and Lutendo coming to us live from Limpopo.
Of course, it's going to be a period of mourning, not just as we mourn Titumbuweni's passing, but as we mourn the passing of his successor. And we'll be talking about Minister Mdatlane a little bit later on in the program, who too was the Minister of Labour just after Titumbuweni.